Okay, so let me start with the fact that I no longer really count my calories and the calorie intake changes based on your goals. I am currently in an involuntary calorie deficit. So I would say I'm within 17, 1800s a day. However, I will be picking it up and I am planning to uh, build a little more muscle for my yearly check-in because I do need to look nice and ripped. So I would say currently uh, for maintenance, 1800 would be it. I think I'm under it. I think I'm around 17. Ooh, I love this one. This is actually, this sounds fun, like a challenge. I would say I would do 10 push-ups. I would do 20 step ups. I would do, goddamn, 45 minutes? I don't need 45 minutes, dude. <laughs> I'm realizing that I don't need it. What equipment do I have? Can I do hip thrusts? I'll do RDLs, 100% RDLs. For my abs, I will do like five vacuums. Curls. I will do bicep curls. Let me check. Let me check. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. I'll jump the rope. Done. Done. Well, I'm simple. I don't have like favorites, but I would say a thick New York strip. Thick. I like them thick. <laughs> and with like veggies, you know, asparagus, zucchini, squash, mushroom, lightly seasoned and uh, killer. So. There is really no such thing as the best way to burn fat. You have to be the only way. You have to be in a calorie deficit. Now there's two ways to be in a calorie deficit. You could be in a severe calorie deficit, which is really troubling for your body and it's really hard to maintain, or in a, um, how do you call the other one? Gradual calorie deficit. Now that's the right way to do it. It all depends if you have any injuries or anything like that. You gotta, gonna wanna make sure that you're warmed up. Uh, get some pre-workout and kick some ass. Not anymore, really. I just stick to my usual four exercises. For those asking, a superset is pretty much when you're going back to back with very minimal rest with two different muscle groups. And it has its own benefits. I just don't need it because I kind of get exhausted at this point and I tend not to bring too much workout workout pre-workout with me so i don't necessarily have benefit from it i know it's great for overall pump engagement and like but not for me this question even though it's not set up as a question so i'm not really sure if i'm supposed to be answering from a personal 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 <laughs> preference or overall but let's start with push versus pull so push is literally everything you're doing upwards it's, it would be chest tricep uh shoulders which I don't bench press. I don't really like focus on that. On the other end, pull, that's, that's what I love. It's any kind of RDLs, rows, um, any kind of back exercises, pull-ins, you know, pull-ups. I love that. I love me some back. So between the two, pull. Now to the second part of the question, which is again, it's not set up as a question. I, I suppose we're just talking about personal preference. So with, between the split and the full, what are we training for? If we're going for specifics and we're trying to like define something, split all the way, of course. Now, if you're trying to do as much as possible, full body, duh. Like it all depends. It really depends on, on what you're doing and what you need to achieve. Very good question. I used to do that. I would go like six days a week. Now the problem with that, you're either overburning the muscle if you're trying to grow, you probably don't have enough time for recovery, so it's not going to grow. Now on the other end, if your primary um, focus is to lose weight and to cut, then yeah, going six times probably is very beneficial because you're going to be losing weight because you're doing a lot. So. But you're also gonna burn out really quick. So I would suggest four times. Four times a week would be probably optimal. If that kind of advice, I need to know more about the injury. But I would say, what are you? What were you doing before you hurt yourself? Do that, 
just don't do lower body. And if your primary was always lower body, then at this point, do more push. Do the upper body, do the core. Um, engage as much as you can in it. You could still, I would say, use the other leg. Do you want to do that? You could absolutely do it, but I would need more information to give you that kind of advice. Great question. For my female clients, what I used to notice, and even for myself, when I overwork a muscle group, which was typically glute, it wouldn't grow. If anything, it would actually get smaller because I wouldn't leave it any time to grow, to recover. The way the muscle is um, repaired during that recovery period is with protein, with fuel, right? You have to feed it. And it's pretty much torn and you just let it heal. That's how it grows. So if you're not letting it heal afterwards and you just keep working, that's how you would, you would just not see progress. So let's say your bicep isn't growing. You're probably working it too much. The same way I deal with it when I'm not in the gym. Okay, I'll be honest with you, I fell off. It's, it doesn't look like I fell off because I'm kind of rolling on my own progress, which is nice that I have that cushion, but I fell off. I haven't been in the gym in like two weeks for myself. I've been with clients and kind of maybe that's why I don't find myself in the gym for myself. So today was my first good day for my glutes. Kill that. But... Um, the routine is four exercises. I try not to overdo anything. It's about 45, maybe an hour long workout for me. I just split it in the way that works the best for me. RDL, uh, sumo squat, I do hip thrusts, I do step ups. Sometimes, if I feel like it, I would also include kickbacks and variation of that. Um, but that's what today brought me to, that's it. Yeah, I love those. When you get bored though, if you feel like it's getting a little too easy, you could always do a walk, a walking plan, which is like just sideways, uh, left or right. And you could also do um, going onto your like elbow and then stand up off of it. I'm horrible at explaining this. And then back to your elbow. So variations of planks, definitely. Because I kind of get bored with the same exercise. I'm aware that this might come off a bit psychotic, but I'm literally that kind of person that could pick one like Linkin Park song and just play it on repeat. I know that's insane. A short answer is I no longer need to. Um, I don't know if you watched any of my other videos, but I have great definition in my shoulders, which I'm fairly proud of. So my upper body doesn't require as much attention. Let's use that word. So there's really no need and I don't push because like I don't need these muscles to already emphasize what I have, you know? Neither. A cheat meal would actually imply that I'm restricting myself, which I no longer do. I used to. I no longer do that. Um, and eating clean is also not a thing for me. I eat what I crave and I incorporate the foods that I like honestly only the foods that i like into my daily routine you know funny enough they say hanging you should try <laughs>